What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I'm just starting this channel for budgeting, sinking funds, and all of that. Um, today, in this video, we're going to do calculating sinking funds. So, uh, this video is specifically for people who want to know how out of their budget they can calculate how much to put away in each fund. Some people go by percentages and then there's people like me who do um, per paycheck. So even if you make like $200 for that paycheck, um, you take out your bills and then pay everything that's essential. Whatever money you're left over with is what you'll stuff your envelopes with. I'm gonna teach you guys how I calculate mine. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first I want to show you guys my envelopes. You may have seen this from my previous video. These are my envelopes and today I'm going to give you an example of how I would calculate um, how much money I would put in my envelope per paycheck. So let's start with pets since it's right here. Um, pets should be easy. So. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out what it is that you have divided in your envelope. So for example, I have the pets envelope, but within that envelope ranges many things that I could pull money out for to use. For example, dog food, vet visits, um, flea medicine for my dogs, um, or any medicine, toys. So all those are different amounts. And for me, because I'm giving myself as an example, every two months is when I buy dog food, between like six weeks to eight weeks. So that's what I'm gonna write first is dog food. First we need to write what it is. Pets, okay. So we do dog food. Then we have vet visits. Okay, so, so far this is what I've come up with. Typically, the main things that I am constantly buying for my dogs are treats and dog food. Uh, they always go to the vet every year, so that would be part of it. Toys, beds, and accessories, because I'm constantly having to buy new beds for them because they tear them. Um, new toys because they break theirs. And any kind of accessories, like maybe a new leash or collar because there's broke or tore or something. Shampoo, because I, I do take my, one of my pit bulls to get groomed occasionally because he's really difficult to groom. However, um, the others, I wash them and do their hair and their nails and everything myself. So I do spend quite a bit of money in shampoo in a, in a year span. And then flea medicine, that gets applied every 30 days. So... I also spend quite a bit on that. So now that we figured out like these are like the main things and I'm sure there's other things that I do spend on them but this is like broken down into what I would spend the most not like miscellaneous stuff. So then you're gonna want to calculate what you spend in a year per each. So you're gonna calculate if you spend like $30 in dog food a month times that by 12 because there's 12 months in a year then you'll get your your yearly, what you would spend in a year. So let's go ahead and calculate it. So 
in one year I spend typically $420 in dog food for a vet visit because I take them every year typically I spend about Six hundred for toys, beds, and accessories. I usually do about a hundred a year. Okay, for their shampoo, I usually spend about fifty in a year. And for the flea medicine, I usually spend two hundred eighty in one year. The total for this is $1,500. Alright, so that's the total. For the year. And that's how you come up with it, you guys. This is how you come up with your goal number for your envelope. So like, for example, since I just calculated that, for this one, for pets, I'm gonna probably put it, write it somewhere on here on the back maybe, um, this number, 1,500. That's the goal that I wanna have in here per year. So well, that's how you would figure out your goal. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please leave me any um, recommendations for other videos that you guys will want to see. Um, I'm, I do plan on coming out with more videos. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.